Greetings, Potterheads! I will unbox today the sixth item in my collection, which is the Weasley House or the Burrow from a Harry Potter Hogwarts playset. Since I finished opening the toys from the first movie, which is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I will now start with my toys from the second movie, which is the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So this toy was also from Mattel and was released in 2002. Similarly, the box shows what's in store for us and the instructions as well. But this one is new and this is the first toy from this series that has this little hole which lets us try one of its features. Okay, enough talking and let us now unbox this cute dollhouse. Okay, so same story. I will have to use my cutter again to open this and... I am surprised that Mattel did not include a manual on this one. But yay! The strings are still here. So this plastic is new here and this extension. So as you can remember, the first toy to have an extension like this was the Hagrid's Hot and this one is the second toy to have this. So this extension looks like a garden patch with a wood. Okay, so let's detach the string. So let's now detach the strings from the house so we can take a closer look on it. So this was the plastic I was talking about that were not in the Sorcerer's Stone toys. And Ron is tied to it. Okay, so let's now take a closer look on the dolls. So we have Harry and Ron. So Harry is still wearing the top he wore on his first train to Hogwarts. And I have no problem with repeating outfits, but, but Mattel could have at least gave him a new top. Okay, so and we have Ron whose hair went from brown to orange but I like the latter more because it's realistic than him being a bonnet. And the last doll in this toy are the garden gnomes. So they are so cute and small. And the depiction here is close to the book because they were described as little beasts with big heads like this. So the garden gnomes were not shown in the movie, but they were mentioned in the book. So garden gnomes are one of the many fantastic beasts in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. And since they are garden gnomes, they are obviously garden pests who eat plants and crops. And they're like moles in the muggle world who digs up the soil and causes damage to the garden. Okay, so this is the house. It is called the burrow because it is located in the burrow. And this one is cuter than the ones described in the books and shown in the movie. So this scene was from the Chamber of Secrets. So let us now take a look on the house. So this toy has three features, which is first, this plant allows the wheel to turn and reveals a secret hideout for the gnomes. So gnomes were described as playful and witty and they are fond of being chased, especially by Crookshanks, the cat of Hermione. And so if we put Harry and Ron here, it looks like they are chasing the gnomes who are hiding from them. It's so cute, I know right? 
And so, this is the top or the second floor of this house. And let's put the gnomes there for the meantime. So, this house was featured from Chamber of Secrets up to the last book, which is the Deadly Hallows. So, the right side shows the fireplace and the bedroom of Ron. So, this fireplace is important because this was the first time that flu powder and teleportation were introduced. So, this scene was a time when the family and Harry teleported from the burrow to Diagon Alley to shop for school supplies. If we turn the chimney off the whiskeys, the doll will appear and will teleport just like in the movie. And at the same time, the poster in Ron's bedroom also moved together with the fireplace. And another trivia, Ron is a huge fan of Quidditch, a resorting world sport which we will talk about in my later videos. And it was mentioned in the Goblet of Fire that he was fangirling for Victor Crumb. Who wouldn't drool? I mean, who would not fangirl over Victor Crumb, right? <laughs> and above the fireplace is the bedroom of Ron, which shows two beds because sometimes Harry sleeps at the burrow, just like this. And for the final feature, we can attach this garden extension to the house. And send the gnomes away by pressing this. Whee! Goodbye gnomes! And like what I said in my Hagrid's Hot episode, this one will be useful once I make my Hogwarts Castle video, so watch out for that. And there you have it, the Weasley House or the Burrow. Thanks for watching and tune in for more vintage Harry Potter merch. Knox.